M0 FXP Quashang TK11. Let's load the first firmware that I've seen available. And I'm gonna download it with you. Um, so just click here and there's new programming software as well. But let's do the firmware first. We're gonna hit download. And that's given us at the moment just a bin file. As you can see here, TK11 version 5.0009. Then we're going to double click software. Just click here, download and verified. Click here, run anyway. Like so. Next, agree. Next, uh, we'll put in M0FXP. Then we'll go next. Install, next. Finish. Okay, now we get to the software, the CPS. We're gonna click firmware update at the top here. We get this file. So we're gonna click update here and oops no the three dots first <laughs> uh and then go to the downloads and find that bin there it is there we've got the bin there and I, we might have to select the com port uh well it's already it's automatically found com3 so keep an eye on the radio and then we're going to go update and see what it does Nothing at the moment. Oh, we need to get into firmware mode. So off PTT, turn on. No, it didn't work. Try again. There you are, ready to upgrade. Sorry, it's quite bright. Now try again. Come on, yes. It's going in. So we need to find out what's been added. I'm not seeing a change log, but at least we know how to do the firmware process. So it's got to the end. Um, and <laughs> it's letting me go in already, even though it's still showing on the screen what you can see, menu, everything seems to be working fine. Go across to host info. Let's see if we can find version 500.09. Right, I can see the little OK there that I didn't see. Click OK. So that seems to have gone in. Uh, let's read from the radio. I've uh, got a few memory channels on there. So let's click the right one. Um, I always get confused. Is it that one? Let's just get it right. No. For me, it's jammed up. I'm going to close the program and reopen it. Okay. I plug the cable back in. <laughs> uh, let's try again. Read. Right, it's reading. So I don't know what it's added. Uh, I'm trying to find the change log, but I've got my channels there that were there before. General settings. The screen timeout has turned off. Uh, button, preset buttons, NOA, just. I'm not seeing anything new at the moment. I think I need to explore this. Let's go to see the way that the the boot screen has gone off. Let's go to settings. I'm just sort of tinkering now. Feel free to end the video if you're bored. I'm just gonna have a look at some of these settings. Dual receivers on, VFO channel display, on, on, on. 
flashlight, power on, boot picture, band set tone picture. Okay, right. Move this down a bit. So I, I think I'm gonna. I need to spend some time with this. We've got export channel CSV and import. That's got to be a good thing. We're on version two point six. Basic information is fifteen zero zero nine. General set there. So power on button match general ah. Right, let's see, look, see that backlight always on. You can see it's definitely not on. Uh, so you go menu and go to, I think I would say general. Menu. ABR. Beep. Denoise, magic, oh god. Reset. Exit. Channel work mode. Vox, dual receive, timeout. Quick call, Roger. Okay. Yeah, give me some time because I, I want to work out. But David, this video is basically just loading firmware. By 